Alrighty, we have a construction update. It's been a long time again. The Canadian weather is not cooperating with me whatsoever. One day it'll be raining, some days it's snowing. If it's not snowing or raining, it's windy and I can't get the drone up safely, so I don't. Oh, it's so frustrating, but let's get right to it. So as you can see, lots of track in the storage area. In fact, you can actually make out the vertical loop in that storage area, so that's awesome. I'm assuming they have track all the way up to the return. That's what I would predict. If not, they have the vertical loop there and then they're just missing the remainder of it. So um, as you can see, construction was going pretty late today. So again, I promise you guys, um, well, let's get right into this. So this is a little teaser into a video that's gonna come out slightly after this. So you see something on Behemoth's track there. I'll update you guys after this video, give it about 30 minutes after this video. Um, another video will be put up about what's going on with Behemoth. But yeah, other than that, <laughs> so as you can see, uh, construction's gonna be a little late today. They're making up time, I guess, for the last two days, three days that they couldn't get anything done due to weather. So they're installing the remainder of the Immelman. You can actually see uh, the support structure in and then a piece of track being held in by one crane. And then later on in the video, you're gonna see uh, the big yellow crane lifting in another piece of track into that area. So the Immelman should be done by later tonight. It was just getting too dark. We were there around 3.34. Um, so I, I'm assuming that they'll be done the Immelman by tonight. Um, and uh, I'm gonna hopefully, it's supposed to be snowing all day tomorrow, which is horrible. Ugh, I hate living in Canada. Why do you live somewhere where the wind and the air hurts your face? I have no idea, but I do. <laughs> but I'll be there tomorrow, hopefully filming. I'm saying hopefully, cause I don't think I actually will be there. Um, if I don't get there tomorrow, I promise you guys, I will go fly on the weekend, Saturday, Sunday, whatever day it's not raining, snowing or windy. Again, I can't go up if any of those conditions are in. I can fly usually below 24 kilometers an hour wind. So if it's below 24 kilometer hour winds, I'm good. If it's over, it's just getting too unsafe to fly. Technically, I can fly up to 30 kilometer hour winds or something like that. The drone can handle a lot. I just don't like to um, because it wobbles a lot and it scares me and I don't want to lose it. It's an expensive piece of technology. But um, yeah, I'm teaching uh, Craig. -a. For those of you who don't know, Craig is someone that I started vlogging with and hanging around at the park. He's been super helpful um, with the content. Craig was actually a general public. Um, he saw some of my videos, he met me and the team, um, and he's become a huge enthusiast. In fact, this kid is always at the park. He lives right across the street, super helpful. He's able to tell me when something's going on. Um, you can see it from his house, so I go and film. And uh, yeah, it's just super awesome. He's a huge enthusiast now. He rode Behemoth and Leviathan for the first time this season, and he loves it, and he is now a full-blown enthusiast. In fact, I think he is more obsessed with Wonderland than I am now, which is awesome. So yeah, he's helping us out a lot. He's been a huge help. So we're going to actually be welcoming him onto the team finally. Uh, it's long overdue, but uh, yeah, so I'm teaching him how to fly. So the person flying the drone right now is actually Craig. Uh, teaching him how to fly the drone so I actually don't have to drive 20 minutes uh, south to come film then 20 minutes back then edit the footage and all that he can actually just film the footage for me check it send it over to me and then I can edit it into a video for you guys so it actually removes a lot of the transportation sides of things um, so that's super awesome so thank you to him uh, give the video a like uh, for Craig helping me out and reducing some of my time and travel time as you can see the highway there it is packed <laughs> it's slow moving in the direction I live up north, up there, the direction that is moving slow. But let's get back on topic. I think I just went on a huge rant there. I apologize, guys. <laughs> just updating you guys, I guess, on some of the, the smaller parts of the channel. So I don't see anything uh, going on in the station area. I am seeing a lot of white in the station area, so I'm curi curious about that, what it could be. Um, I'm looking for vertical construction in terms of buildings and stuff. I feel like we're uh, should be seeing something sometime soon. I have noticed though in the past when I was flying my drone last season that buildings for theming and stuff typically go up in March. So end of February, March is when we might see buildings going up. So I it might be too soon. I think they wait until you know the snowstorms are done because end of February things do calm down regardless of winter carrying on until April. Um, so I have a feeling we may not see anything until then. I know Wonderland was a little late on getting the contracts for the, uh, buildings, infrastructure, and, uh, 
theming for this coaster. Uh, so Frontier Canada was a little bit kind of delayed in terms of uh, the logistical part of it, uh, like basically the contracts for the company that would build it. Um, but yeah, as you can see, actually on site in some of the angles, they have actually a lot of track pieces in the site there. I think they have like a good four or five or six track pieces sitting there. And they have a lot of support beams and catwalks for the MCBR are on site right next to Timberwolf Falls. So that's interesting. You can actually see a cement truck or concrete truck. Again, I always mix them up. It's concrete or cement, one of the two. <laughs> I'm not perfect. I don't know all the wordings and I will never remember everything. But that is on the site. Um, they're pouring uh, footings in the vertical loop area. So you can see it just pouring some footings in the area right before it heads into that trench. Also, from the footage, when we go more left, which we will, you'll see how deep that trench is. It's insane how deep it is. Um, so this is actually, I don't even know why I left this in, but this is just me teaching Craig how to like go up, down, left, right. If there's like strong winds or if there's a communication error with the drone, how to like bring that down safely. Um, but we'll get back into the construction update now. <laughs> so the Immelman is again, heading over Vortex now. So tomorrow it will be over Vortex. Um, and, uh, it's going to look really amazing. This thing's moving a lot slower than Copperhead Strike now, but it's amazing how each time they install track, it's two to four pieces at a time. So again, when they install one segment, it's usually two track pieces connected together. In this case, uh, the next piece to go in will be one piece, not two attached together. Um, but, um, you can actually see where it's going to connect to. You can see the little kind of like cherry picker right up near the support column there. It's a little Y-frame support just before it's over Vortex there. You'll see it now better. And uh, yeah, so the track piece will connect to that and then it's gonna be completely over Vortex after that. So it'll be interesting to see how that happens and how that plays out. That's gonna be awesome. Hopefully we'll have the drone up. You can actually also see the landscaping and how it's gonna form. So you can see how right next to the wave pool and next to Mindbuster, they formed that little grass hill curve area now. So it doesn't look like it's going to be for anything. It looks like they're probably just going to throw down some grass seed uh, for next season. And it's actually going to look a lot nicer than it did this season. So they built that new little kind of road that goes in under Behemoth towards the Splashworks maintenance bay for the wave pool. But yeah, not too much going on other than that. Um, again, I'm just double checking. So again, when I film, I actually watch this footage kind of like once with a quick run through. And then I kind of fill you guys in as I go through myself. So sometimes I spot things as I'm filming, but I don't notice anything um, out of the ordinary in the stationary. That's the area I'm kind of like looking at. I am noticing white on the catwalks and station area though, um, which I don't know what it is. I can actually see it also at the base of the lift hill. I don't know if that's just like a tarp for protecting if they're gonna start doing some work. Sometimes they'll lay down tarp to protect it. You see it actually on Copperhead Strike as well. Um, now I was supposed to have a max force and copperhead strike update today. I'm actually going to move that till tomorrow just because of the, uh, kind of stuff that we've seen here at wonderland, especially on behemoth. I want to explain to you guys what that is. That's going to be really cool. Um, but yeah, this thing is absolutely stunning from every angle. Hope you guys really enjoyed the, the footage today. Um, for anyone that participated in the Amusement Insiders giveaway, I will announce the winners on Sunday and then everyone, all the prizes for the giveaways will be shipped out at once just to help me out. So I'm not shipping out things individually. So once the giveaways are done, I will ship everything out. Um, any of the winners I will announce, though, on um, Sunday in a video. And if you won, I will then pair uh, what color and size you want. Again, sizes cannot be guaranteed because um, what I have is what I got. So you'll have first pick uh, for the first giveaways and color and all that, and I'll pair it with your name in an envelope. And then at the end of the month, I'll send everything out at once. So to make things easier for me. And yeah, I just wanted to thank everyone for participating in that. Thanks for watching my construction updates. Um, these things are getting really popular. We're getting a lot of partnerships with um, some other parks, even some overseas, the Six Flags chain. And then we have something really cool for Toronto, a Toronto event that we're gonna get to go um, film for you guys behind the scenes. So that's awesome. Um, thanks for watching my channel. Thanks for hitting that like button. So don't forget, hit that like button down below, comment, um, share the video for those who uh, don't know and to get the message out there about Amusement Insiders and our construction update. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching guys. Have a good one. Bye.